Morning, St. Lucia. Wake up, everybody. I hope you're feeling refreshed and re-energized. I think my set of alone for today should give you that energy this morning. And I'm so thrilled today because we have a new person here. She's part of the family. She's actually part of my family. But I'd like you to meet Courtney Green. And she is a very talented well, you know, what? I'm not going to limit her to a painter because she has very, very creative hands and just an eye for enhancing anything. So I would just say that we have a young uprising artist and please well, let me welcome Courtney Green here with us. So first thank of you. all, thank you for being here this morning. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Great. And I'm excited. I'm sorry, St. Lucia. I'm getting distracted because there's so many things here right now that's just calling me. For example, this. Everything you see here right now in our setup was created by Courtney. So first of all, let's let's get inside her mind and find out, you know, where everything started for you with your art journey. Okay. Um, back in secondary school, I used to do different projects and like different like scenery and stuff. And, you know, I always liked doing that, but I never knew that I had talent in painting mm -hmm. and drawing and so it's only when I got to form four and I started doing visual arts for CXC that I developed and actually realized that I could paint and I could actually look at something and draw it and so it's around then that I actually really got into it. Great now yeah. you know what I'm liking too with your work is that everything is still so different like you can sketch you can paint then you have craft work coming into play. You know, when did you, you know, kind of tap into these different skills then? Right. Um, well, I was doing painting and mixed media mm -hmm. and drawing. So I had to draw and I had to do, like, use different media. So then that's when I realized that, you know, painting on a canvas is one thing, but I really like to incorporate different things. So sometimes I might... I'll use like cardboard mm -hmm. or I'll use different um, recycle, like just recycle things and put it together into my piece to make it, you know, different. And that's what I'm loving too because you know what, in my mind this is also a way to sort of really start making your name because there's so many people out there right now who paint and, and you know, it is a talent because God knows I can't even do that, I don't even know where to begin but you know, <laughs> In a market where we have so many different people in the art industry now, you know, things like your cardboard pieces, your 3D pieces, to me, again, it's different. So this is really, if you're not even realizing it, this is you making your signature, you know, your mark. I yeah. notice you have a lot of Caribbean-themed um, pieces from portraits to even your new 3D pieces as yeah. well. So, I Yeah, because I really like, doing that because it shows what I am basically like if I would draw I was painting like snow scenes and stuff mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything to do with me so I like to like show my culture and what I see regularly and you know like the palm trees and I have steel pan and I fishing carnival and carnival yes. I have a whole bunch of carnival costumes yeah yeah Nice. Well, just before we wrap up, again, something that she more recently created. Um, Courtney, if you can just take us through, you know, the process for your 3D artwork that you just created. Okay. Um, well, I actually had my TV box lying on the floor and I was like, I don't want to throw this out. I want to do something with it. So I said, you know, what? let me do a painting with it. And so I said, okay, we'll, um, I'll cut it up into layers. So mm -hmm. I have the background. Then I'll do like a hill put some trees, put the water, you know, maybe put in a house or something and just cut it out and then paint over it. So that's what I did for this one and the other one. Yeah. All right, nice. Now again, like I said, you see just vision because I would not know where to start with this, but the end result is something absolutely amazing. I love, again, the Caribbean theme in a lot of your pieces, but that's great that you're staying true to yourself. Now, St. Lucia, um, I, you know, I always like to keep you guys in the loop and there's so much more still to come from Courtney. So if you can just let everybody who's watching right now know how they can follow you. And of course, she is available to make your own personalized pieces. So let them know how they can reach you. Okay, well, I'm on Instagram at Courtney M. Green. So you could send me a message and you could go there to see all the things that I have on display. 
All right, perfect. So same we should keep following her. We'll keep seeing what's new and exciting coming from Courtney. And just to let you know, don't watch this too hard, okay? Because it's taken. That's mine. So call her for the other piece. And we'll see you soon. Courtney, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, too. <laughs>
Boom, it switches up on I you. Mean, we're even t having Zumba classes now here. So twice a week we have Zumba in the evenings. So I mean, we're always doing something different. We're always open to new ideas. And so when friends come and say, you know, May, you want, I have a space, it usually is something that I like. Um, and I feel that it's, it will be, St. Lucians will like it too, because it's a, it's a different place. It's different than they're not used to. It's not your regul regular place where you're gonna go have drinks or have a huge place, but it's about finding yourself mm -hmm. and finding a quiet moment for yourself and appreciating appreciate that in this very busy world we live in with internet and everything, you have a little space where you can still pick up a book and turn a page and appreciate what Derek Walcott really wanted for his country. And that is what I hope this space is. His last book launch was done here. Um, and it was the beginning of his sickness really because he had to be taken out of, of, um, of his own book launch. But Morning Paramin was celebrated here. It's the only place in the world where both artists were here. It was his last book. And please St. Lucians, continue to support the arts continue to support our writers. Um, let's not forget um, what it means to people, this island. It's not just about hotels. It is about the beauty of this island and artists who really appreciated it. Yes, and on that note, we need to keep our authenticity going. So, you know, with our show too, we keep finding new uprising artists as well. So people listen. If you are looking for somewhere to come that is different, hair is very quaint and unassuming. I love it. And like like May said, you know what? It is actually still a zen spot despite everything else. So you can come and enjoy and again, come out and read because on a side note, at present, this is the only bookstore that we have. But what I do like as well is that we have so much Caribbean, so many Caribbean um, authors in here and local as well. So if you want to read books of a difference, books that you can relate to even more, you need to come check out their yard, okay? And again, let me tell you, at the cafe, the menu, because I've been following, and it is delicious, and it's very local and, and Creole. very healthy and very local. Um, and the lady who runs it, Sabrina, is... Yes herself wonderful i mean you would love just sitting and talking to her so please come and support us exactly so you have no excuse to come check it out come grab a bike come hang out get some soul food food to make you happy and you know chill in this zen spot so i'm enjoying it and i'm referring you so make sure you guys come out and check it out and may thank you once thank again you. for having us thank you very much <laughs> all right see you at day art <laughs>